So, you guys know why you're here. Yeah, we don't need to explain <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like I should say, um, Unhinged and Uncensored is doing amazingly well. Yes, thank you so much um, to everyone who is listening in on it, because I-, I never expected it to be that. Well, it's we're coming up on, we're about to, like I would say, if it keeps going the way it's we're going. We're about to crack 100. 100, which I think is quite successful. Yeah. Um, and you know the thing is, I'm really happy with it because... I think people are hungry for that type of stuff yeah. because you can't, you just don't get it anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Um, the people that did do those sort of things have been silenced have and been. shut down. <laughs> yeah, you could, that's a nice way of putting it. Uh, so yeah, we, we and again, it's one of those other ones where we've had some requests for stuff, but the way we want to do it is the only stuff that goes onto that channel is stuff that we know that we cannot, cannot put, on, put YouTube. on the main channel. So that's well, it's not on, well, not on here. You know what I mean? It can't, it just can't go on YouTube oh, yeah. at all. Do you know what I mean? Like we've had some people like send us stuff in it's like oh this would be pretty good it's like well yeah it would be good but, but we're like, like eh. we could do that on like the channel yeah exactly so look anyway look sorry for that but it's one of those ones like we but got a shell you. we got a shell and uh, it means we're not going to put it in an advert thank in the middle. you thank you thank you <laughs> i think i got my lunch money yeah. <laughs> uh, i got my sweetie money <laughs> cheers mum for no money. money uh look here do you want to hear some stories about femoids clan because like you know you, you know you guys want to also we've got some other funny stuff like, this is just a mixed bag okay. of stuff that i've just found and so, i think it's funny so like, this hey. starts off with i regret not making my marriage work and now my ex-husband is happily remarried. Oh no! Oh, oh no. no! You oh. fucked up. Oh. Now everyone Perfect. feels sorry for me. Oh. We- <laughs> right, let's see. Oh. When I was in my early thirties, I divorced my husband. We didn't have any major issues. Our relationship was just challenging after having kids. I was a stay-at-home mum and I expected him to do more of the housework and childcare when he worked full-time. He didn't help me when I asked, but I started to ask more of him and I burned him out. I used to have him wrapped around my finger and I used that as an advantage to get what I want. He eventually got tired of it. I started threatening to divorce him and he said he knew the baby was just stressing us out and he will like to make it work. But when I was 30, I thought I was a great catch because I'm still very beautiful for my age. And I lost my mum bod, so I thought I could do better than him, so I left him. <laughs> I could, uh, I could, you could totally do better than him, girl. You know, you, you know, you know, you are a stay at home mum, which is like super rare in this day and age. Like, so few people get to even sniff that. Yeah. Like, you'd be lucky if, you, if you're going to be a part time mum. Yeah. Not going to lie, for yeah. like the vast majority of people. So, like, you know. I got her house in the divorce, and we shared joint custody of her son. Oh, the house. I got the house. He took, she took the house and the kids. <laughs> Fast forward now. I'm 41 and still single and my ex-husband is 41 and got remarried to a 31 year old oh. woman who is incredibly beautiful and they had their daughter three years ago. He bought a new house. My son loves going to his dad's to spend time with his other family and I'm not gonna lie, it makes me jealous. <laughs> he has it, it all. <laughs> she took my husband. No, she took she, my kid. She took. No, she, she took, didn't. She took. She took. She, took, she you, is blaming she her took. even though she's the one you who ended the marriage. You, you ended the marriage. You rejected it uh, you know what Look, just let's let's just keep so going. she has it all she took my husband she took my kid she took my life that was once all mine and all i have is the house we created our family and now i live in an empty house <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, i'm 41 bag. i gained 20 pounds i've got wrinkles and i'm alone and miserable I've had short-term relationships after the divorce, but they never worked out. Men just don't want an old woman like me with a child. No, but I'm a great catch. I'm a great catch. I'm a great catch. Do you you not know? I'm a single mom. I'm a great catch. I could do way better. Um, men just don't want an old woman with like me with a child and I've noticed that men with kids just have a better time dating with kids than we do and I hate it I would I would agree with that I would say do you think men have a better time with kids than like single moms like are single dads better off I think single dads are probably are better off than single moms because you think well if they're any sort of mother well most women of the tend time, to like kids yeah well yeah and most of the time you know if you're a single mom like if you're a good mom most of your time is devoted to your kids so you're not really going to be. So you on don't the really market. have that much. Well, you shouldn't have that much time to give. Yeah. To a be. new partner. Yeah. 
of what you should be giving to your new partner, but... <clears throat> uh, let's, let's keep going. What, anyway, where, where does this go? I'm not happy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could go back to when I was younger and I would have stopped being so childish. Now I have such a miserable life. I work a useless job and I have to <laughs> share... She's a girl boss. You don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a girl I'm boss. I'm a girl boss. Um, I work a useless job and I have to share custody of my son where he has to go spend time at my ex-husband's house with his new and improved wife. I feel like dumpster I feel like a dumpster standing right next to her. My therapist said I should do something that'll make me happy, like makeover, since I'm reminiscing about how I look so much and comparing myself to this new, beautiful, young, hot wife. So I decided to get a new hairstyle. <laughs> That didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did it go? Did, did, did you go like neon colors? I don't know, but any girl who's going through like a big breakup or going through a transition in their life does something with their hair. Yeah, it's pretty I've much been guy. every color of the rainbow. Yeah, like it's just it's, it, it, it's I, just I, no no new no, hair the, new me. No, the best one ever was the best one ever was you. We were drinking. Well, what are you saying? We were drinking one night. <laughs> You know exactly the story I'm on about. We were, we were going good, and then you like just suddenly say, "I need to do something." Hold on, hold on. And uh, I left and came down with a full fringe. No, you made a hack of it, did you not? Yeah. Is that the drunk? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You shouldn't be cutting. And the then hair I went round to my auntie's house the next day. He's he used to be a hairdresser. I was like, "Please, please fix, fix me, fix me, <laughs> <laughs> fix me." <laughs> right, look, like, that's uh, like, like, okay. So she made a hack. Uh, of that her. didn't help. No matter what I do, I look like a middle-aged woman. It's because you are a middle-aged woman. This is probably the most honest I've been in a while. I just feel like crap. I wish I was a better wife over 10 years ago, so I wouldn't be in this position. I know a lot of people on Reddit preach being alone and single, but honestly, this is not an ideal life or a life I would wish on my worst enemy. Oh, oh, uh, oh, I, I, feel, I feel really bad. You know what? I think she did you fell a favor. Yeah. I think she really honestly, did. Honestly, he jumped ship. Um, sounds like he's he, he didn't jump far... ship. He was forced to jump ship. Well, yeah. Sa- like, you know, and but, like, honestly, it worked out. Honestly, he sounds like he's in a far better position right now. Yeah, which... Like... Like, imagine if she didn't break up with him and she just carried on, like, being this a dick. horrible, this horrible yeah. bitch to him. I don't know how people can put up. Like, I don't know. I don't have the. See, after having Aussie, like, see when it comes to, like, see when it comes to, like, soft green fills, I just don't have the time. Yeah. I don't have the energy to be, like, see see the idea of arguing with, like, landmarks online. See whatever I get, like, comments or whatever. I'm like, oh, well, man, that's just, like, your opinion. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or it's like, like uh, I don't, I, you know, I, me four years ago. The most I do now is just put laugh and Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, oh, that's the best one. That's see the Facebook, best thing. Laughing emojis and just call it a day. Just, yeah, just go <laughs> full boom. On their ass. Yeah. Don't even respond. Don't respond. It, it works it's so well. So good. See the see them and then they just keep commenting. And, and you just keep and just laughing. Get, get, <laughs> it's beautiful. It's, so it's the best way to do it. But also, I just don't have the time for any of that sort no, of stuff these days. That. My, I, I just can't do it. But look, so I saw this one. It was posted on Twitter, and uh, this fella hit him with that reminds me of something that happened to me. And this is so much worse. This so, is like. So th- this is a. A reply? Yeah, so this is from a guy <coughs> Forgo. Frogo. Frogo. I've never heard I've never heard of him Fuck before. Well, Forgo. Forgo. You're mad, I always took the piss out of me because there was one time What'd you say today? What? Toyota. Toyota, yeah. What no wait no Toyota. 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 James Fuck. Megan, right I've been calling uh Tyranids Tyranids most of my life. I don't care. Toyota. I don't he, he said this earlier today in the car and I went, excuse me, stop, what? And you went, Toyota. And I went, Toyota? Like the car, Megan, Toyota? Megan, you're saying this about something that I actually just don't care about. I'm just yeah. saying, but I would just like you to let Megan, you know. The be- the best I would one, just like to let you know that you said it wrong. The best one that I do that winds people up to no end is the way I say um, Sabaton instead of Sabaton. <laughs> and not just like... And not, no, but now I, I call it Sabaton. Yeah. <laughs> and, but then whenever I'm talking to people about it I have they to just check kinda... no I have to check myself and say Sabaton uh, <laughs> I just can't help this. I like guys I'm, I'm in that Sabaton. point where I just think it's funny I, you know the best one is there was one time I, like, there was this guy right and I was talking to him and I can't remember what it was but he was kind of just being awkward with me or whatever and then I started like he, he drove a motorbike and I just called it his hat and it was just his what? his hat his motorbike helmet his helmet? yeah Wait, I called it hat? His, yeah get your hat on there and <laughs> <laughs> like, he was like, it's a helmet. It's like, yeah, yeah, you're hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I can't, like, this was years ago. This would have been like, t- this was like 10 years ago. Jump on uh, your bike and get your hat on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, they, 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 you'd see him and he's like, he was like really 
seething. It was like you say a, something else really weird. No, he's like no, but it's a it's a helmet, James. I was like, yeah. you know what? You know what's one of the cringiest things about James? What? Mm, what? Two cr- really cringy things about James, and he's been doing it for the whole ten years that I know him. What? And it really grinds my gears. This is like, yeah, no, this is my beige flag with James. Right. Number one, whenever you're talking about money, you say, give us some dollary days. That really what? annoys me. <laughs> you don't like dollary days? No. Give me some dollar. Do you have any dollary days? Or do you need any dollary days? Really annoys me. I think and you see a- whenever he's cooking and he's making himself a sandwich or something and he gets sweet chili out of the cupboard. He goes, sweet chili. <laughs> 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 I don't, I don't see the issue with these Or he's things. making a sandwich and he says to me, can you pass me the sweet chilli? I'm like, can you stop? I don't I don't see the issue with this, Megan. Please stop. I don't, I don't, see, like, I don't, I don't see why you got to... No. <laughs> Just... I'll admit to the other ones, but they're funny, like, they're funny words. Megan, they're funny words. They're not can't... funny <laughs> words. You're just fucking cringe. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Dolly Dees is a funny no, word, okay? <laughs> like, fuck it, just lead the fucking post. <laughs> lead the fucking depressing post, alright? Just, just do it. <laughs> nice segue. I don't it. think I've ever told you that before, that, that annoys me. <laughs> but it's not that it annoys me, it just makes me fucking <laughs> cringe. <laughs> he does it like whenever we're right in public as what? well. Like if we're at a bar, you're like, give us your Dolly Dees <laughs> in front of people and make you stop it. <laughs> people are watching. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because you sound like a sixty-year-old dad whenever you say it. <laughs> like, I, do, I do that type of stuff all the time, okay? I know, but you've been doing this for do, like do, nineteen. Yeah, but I do like old man stuff all yeah, the time. Yeah, I know. I'm an old soul. Oh. <laughs> like, just, just like fucking oh, depressing fuck. poster. Right? This is a really depressing one, guys. I'm sorry. I had a similar situation, but younger. I was with the same girl for seven years, worked full time, paid all the bills, helped her pay for her nursing degree, planned on marrying her. She got pregnant and aborted it against my will, which started a problem. Then a friend of hers got in her ear saying she could do better and should get out and experience more. So she cheated on me. I broke up with her. Then a few years later, she called me crying saying she wished she never aborted my child and didn't realize just how much I did for her. And her new boyfriends didn't do half as much. When I was with her, she was a straight edge church girl. One of the guys she was with after me got her hooked on drugs. And well, she, she, sadly... couldn't been, she couldn't have been that much of a church girl if she was up for an like, Exactly. She, mm, there's something in there that's yeah. like, mm, I, don't th- I don't think she was, but like. One of the guys she was w- with after me got her hooked on drugs. She sadly passed away weeks ago. Still fucks in my head thinking about how things could have been different. I really did love her. Man. Yeah, I thought that one was pretty brutal. Like, that what one, the that, fuck? One's, that one's up there. Although it gets worse. Do you want to hear how, how more? Goes. Oh no! It's oh. this is honestly. I I only saw this like a couple of hours ago okay. on Twitter, and I was like, "Oh my god, I have to put this." Right, in. Well, this you have is, to you have to sign me up. Yeah, one sec. Sounds like instead of supporting her after the abortion, you resented her, so she left. Okay, that's 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 um, one way to look at it. The okay. guy replied, "Yes, my girlfriend of seven years got pregnant, and I stood on social media that she's pregnant. Acted all happy, and I was so excited to be a father. We purchased baby clothes and a crib, and I put the crib together. Had a whole baby room set up. Several months later." She she decided she wanted to abort and asked me to pay for it. Several months? Uh, no, no, this nah, sounds sketchy. This sounds uh, fake. Do you think so? Fake. I don't know. It's like... Fake and gay. Is it? Fake and gay. Do you think so? You can't... Several months later, you can't abort past 24 weeks. Uh, it kind of depends on where you are, like, you know? No, you can't... Ab- I'm literally sure in America... Let me check this right, out. Okay. Hold on. Right, let, right. Let's, let's quick... Right. How we can you abort... <clears throat> in America. I don't even know if the guy's American. Okay, here we go. So, do, 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 do. Um, no limit for a ton of states. No for uh, District of Columbia, no limit on Vermont, no limit on New Jersey, no limit on Colorado, New Mexico, Oregon. So there is a, quite a few states that... What like, do you mean no limit? No limit. Um, so they can do it how late tw- pe- 38 weeks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full-time yeah, baby? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So for a handful of states, you can go at any time. Um, the, most of them seem to be at 24 weeks. 20, can... 24 weeks is the... What's that? It's only... Uh, there's only uh, two states, which is the six weeks, which is Oklahoma and Texas. So, yeah, that's pretty fucked up. So, the, the, I, I would say there's a good, good chance this is... I would like to say this is fake. I again. want this to fake. I will... I really, is it still fit. recording? Yeah, yeah, it's still recording. 
I thought you paused it like this. That's absolutely horrendous. Yeah, just keep going. It just, it's just, it's, it's beyond. Several months later, she said she wanted a board and asked me to pay for it. I said I couldn't pay to murder my own child. She thought the kid would slow down her nursing degree. I said I'd take care of the kid till she finishes her classes. I got a text one day while at work saying she had borrowed money and aborted my child. So yeah, there was some resentment on top of other issues. I had to sell a crib that should have been the bed for my child because my child was killed and I had no say in it. In the end, she she lost her nursing degree that I paid for it with my money and the blood of my child. Yeah, I don't really know where to go with that. I, that's that's probably yeah. one of the worst. That's definitely that's that's peak for the play the worst. I feel but like I feel that like, I don't know. That's not something I would wish on anyone. Ew, you see the one who was replying to him? Yeah. Her <clears throat> bio on Twitter's wife, dog mom, vegan, progressive, atheist. <laughs> like, you know what? Uh, the, the, you know what? That baby play would have slowed down her nursing degree. I already she, fucking hate her. She, you know, like, all I'm saying is, you could have been a girl boss. <laughs> and, uh, you know what? You can't, if you, you shouldn't, you don't want to have kids I if you're know, a girl boss. A fuck. That, that, that's, that's, like, yeah. Do you want to go for something a bit more fun? Yeah, give me something <laughs> get, to laugh something. at. <laughs> like, do you want a palate cleanser after give me, that? Yeah, give me a, a fucking burnt out. <laughs> Asshole or something, yeah. something. Yeah, so guys, uh, that's quite really bad. So if you want to know the really bad stuff, check out Unhinged and Uncensored. My God. Because that, that's, that's unreal. I like, honest to God. Right, let's get something fun, all right? I'm, I'll, we'll do it. We'll get some fun. Right, there we go. You Can like I this say one? Rysel? Yeah, what's, like, he's calling it himself. Okay. Like, you know? 19 meal, Rysel, no cell, <laughs> lip cell. <laughs> Asked a girl for her number last week on campus. She called security on me and I was interrogated by them for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, that's a fallen too. Like, that's you know, bad. that's absolutely. Why does his nose look like a sagging? I think it's, well, it doesn't help the angle that he's going. It looks like it's like. It's, you know what it's shot like? A 40, like a 45 year old Englishman? Yeah. Like, or you know, a 50. Bimmer. 50. I think Americans do it too, though. A I load of Americans Where's do Where it's like that. shot from the chin Appar- up. Apparently there's a, there's a psychological thing it for that. It makes them look bigger. Yeah, th- but they don't un- actually understand yeah, that. Yeah, but they're not trying to scare away bears here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like Yeah, the yeah, that's the thing. Like, you know, sometimes you just got to realise, like, like, man, you got to work with some different angles. I know. It's okay to, like, you know, have the, have the camera angle a wee bit higher up, but it looks a bit better than seeing, like, than 10 seeing, chins. Like, fucking 19 chins <laughs> and, like, all the nose hair. So, uh, what would you say to this guy? Just, uh, just be confident. Be yourself. Be confident. Be yourself. <laughs> Is that all you can? Do? Don't let security <coughs> interrogate you. You interrogate them. <laughs> Yeah, what you should do is uh, make yourself like <laughs> just a t- slap an inner reverse card down the table. Make a make a tender, right? And go on, go, like you know, make, get, get on there yeah. and uh, message girls and yeah. be like, I can protect you, and they right back from protect, me. From me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sound high joke. I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. But anyway, look, it's not really a palate cleanser. I'm sorry. I don't really think I've got a palate cleanser today. You do. I might. Okay, I'll you keep going. Like, I've got something in the in the folder, okay? Okay, I'll see what I can do. Forward here. So like, that us back on now, right? right okay. And I'm going to send you this right, one. Right, okay. So, just to say, James went to go hit record before he even sent me because he got that excited for me to see this. <laughs> right, just, just, just read the title. I broke my vagina? <laughs> <laughs> I broke my pussy. I broke my pussy, bro. <laughs> my pussy bone, fuck. <laughs> oh my god, right, the walls not... are caving in. <laughs> I broke my vagina. So maybe what, what's I've got my vagina. Oh, that's uh, the Sh- Amy Shimmer thing, wasn't it? Who's Amy Shimmer? You, you're your fat blonde woman. Oh, the fucking. It is. It is her. That is her name. That's the comedian. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's all my vagina. Uh, <laughs> this would actually be good for a blue man again. <laughs> I'd actually go after that. So maybe. So, right, go for it. So maybe this will humor those that didn't have to live through it. Question mark. I had to get a hysterectomy earlier this year. I've been cleared for sex for months and have been having bland, subpar sex regularly with my significant other. Well, I just wanted more. Even if it was just once. I didn't care. I go to this guy's house that he had been talking to for a while and I know he'll take care of me. However, he is far larger than my husband, turns out, and I like it rough. It was phenomenal. Until it wasn't. And I thought perhaps I was dying. (laughs) (laughs) Never did. I had to make him stop, go to the bathroom where I was bleeding pretty bad. What? Cleaned myself up and went back to work because I'm an idiot. The rest of the day I was miserable, stabbing pain. I thought for sure my cervix that I no longer have (laughs) was escaping. I used the restroom 
and wiped I used her restroom and wiped and I'm not sure what I touched but it was such a horror pain that I almost passed out oh. long story short I had to get emergency surgery he tore open my heel stitches <laughs> and my bowels were visible to my gynecologist <laughs> <laughs> I now cannot have sex for three fucking months. My doctor knows it was intercourse. She just doesn't know I wasn't with my husband. My husband, however, thinks I got a bit too rambunctious with a toy. One, I'm idiot. One, I'm an idiot. Two, three fucking months. Send help. You get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> that's that's good, although. My guy, your intestines <laughs> is falling out your pussy. <laughs> Would that not like actually kill you though? Like going septic? No, because it's not ruptured. Oh yeah. Just the stickings. <laughs> as as went because you think that where, where they'll pull out her uterus. Yeah. Like her, then her intestines are gonna drop down. Oh right, okay. Like you know what? You know what? That really wasn't a palate cleanser for me. I just thought it was a really funny title. Her asshole falling out your pussy. <laughs> Her ass tube. Okay, look, next, like, we'll do one or one, two more. Well, yeah, like, we'll just do one or two more. I can't speak. Right. Okay, this is another one. This feels like a jump scare. Yeah, it is actually. You do this. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I, let me just send it to Megan here. Hold and this is, this is really short, so it is, it's tiny. Um, but it really just sums up the edit as a whole, so here you go. You don't have to accept something just because it's factually correct. I thought it was funny, no? I don't. Because it's like, it's like the hack and the well, I, and well, like... I get it, you don't have to accept <clears throat> something because it's factually... It, that's yeah, like the but... government telling us that there's aliens. The, the <laughs> yeah, last thing well, I'm going to well, do right now is trust the government. Yeah, well, like, yeah. I used to like kind of think, mm, maybe, oh, aliens, but yeah, now that I'm... they said that they're real, I'm like, no, nah, you're lying. <laughs> Yeah, how does you know that happen? I mean? You know, that's a problem though. Like, the government has lied so much that it's got to the point where it's like, yeah, man, you know like what, aliens. Man? You know what, bro? I, th- I um, don't this, believe um, you. If you, if you. If you just ha- calm down on the psyopses, like, if you could come down to, like, <clears throat> like how many is there? Like, at least two a month? Something like that. It, like, it's not far off. That's what is it feels like. thing over the Nevada desert? Well, thing. There was, like, three spacecrafts, like, just floating above the Nevada desert. Yeah. And people were saying it was, like, a part of an operation, whatever it was. But there were, like, circular disc fucking spaceships with a fighter jet just casually behind them oh yeah the no, one, them. it no, happened like two days ago and then what was the other ones sure the, like that big tube and it was like the Megadeth album cover do you remember that it was like <laughs> what yeah okay do you okay look, I'll, I'll get it up here on for you so like uh, Megadeth album I know what you mean but cover. like yeah with the tube and the yeah. alien yeah that one yeah do you not remember that like that was like there was a big tube just like floating about no this was like a few months back this would have been like maybe March to be fair I'm real I'm not paying attention on the alien ground yeah I feel like you know that's the thing like see if you, if you told me about like all this you alien see if somebody stuff. told me this alien stuff back in like even just like three years no, ago like no give me give me like before Trump just, just before, before Trump j- no just before COVID for me personally if you just had to give it to me like just before COVID I think I would have no I think before Trump before do you like, think give tw- me like 2014 2015 and like I would have I would have been you know that meme from Always Sunny where the guy has like all the red things? oh yeah like, yeah I yeah, been yeah, like yeah, that, yeah like 100% yeah but now I'm like eh. yeah that's like, that's kind of if they come make it quick yeah, you know? I don't know. It's just it just is a never ending street. You know. What I, mean? I seen that one of them that meme the other day, and it had me dying. Well, you know the the Jeremy Clarkson. Oh yeah, the forgotten. Meme, yeah, the or the one. Jer uh, the Top Gear laughing meme template. Yeah, and in the background there was a UFO, and it's like me and my bestie getting kicked off the spaceship because we keep asking the alien <laughs> what that dick do. <laughs> 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 Avoid anti-Semitic thoughts on LSD trips? Question mark. <laughs> it's not the drugs that suit me best. In general, psychedelics are not my favorite drug. Why are you doing but, them? I, exa- but I really enjoy good trips. That's like a fit. You're you're got a flip of a coin there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've about done that. a few, and it's a flip of a coin. There is no middle ground either. I hate them or love them. But lately, especially so to speak, in the middle of the trip, anti-Semitic thoughts come to me. How they control the world, the market, wars, everything from the shadows. <laughs> And people are not able to see it. You see it, man. I no, don't know. Here, 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 this guy's thoughts do not represent. No, absolutely not. Do you not, do you not in any way represent but any of the thoughts? Join Gumroad. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, yeah, just check <laughs> I don't understand the reason for this or the origin. Because if I'm honest, I think I've never seen a Jew where I live. <laughs> and I never give them much importance. It's funny how the human brain works. Why could this happen? 
when the DMT <laughs> hits. Yeah. yeah. How, how do I get rid of these machine elves? They're, like, they're talking to me? Oh, there's a bad stuff. Like, <laughs> you need to get them out. You know what I mean? Like, what, what, are they, what are you talking about? Shadow governments? What? Uh, vampires or Mars? <gasps> Blood sucking? <laughs> what? Spur kicking? What? I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I know, I know nothing about any of this Absolutely. sort of stuff. I, 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 I don't. I can't speak on this. The, the, these but are we ma- can on Gumroad. So if you want to give us your dollar days <laughs> on Gumroad, dollar days there, you're gonna start saying it now. You know you're gonna start saying it. I know, now. absolutely. Yeah, not. you are. I know. I said it to mock you, my guy. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where we're gonna finish up for the day, all right? This video's coming to thirty minutes. Um, yeah, that was quite one of the worst ones we've ever read um, by a big margin, I would say. Yeah. No, normally, normally at least with a lot of the stories we do, it's they're only hurting themselves, yeah. really. Although to be fair, that one with it was a Jenny, that girl Jenny from the oh, other no, week. Oh fuck! Ah, she was a horrible. She was a nasty bit of work. Like she was next level. Now she was actually binging. Yeah. Who do you think was worse then, Jenny or this girl? Jenny. Do you think Jenny 100%. Was, was Jenny worse? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. They're really bad though. They're no, really Jenny, hundred <clears> percent. <throat> People were asking us any updates to that story as well. Come to think of it, and no, no. as far as um, how do we know the online? As far as where we're, no. Um, the last post was in 2022 and there so, were and all the posts were pretty like kind of like within like a couple of weeks up. of each other so it, I, I don't think the guy's gonna do an update if i'll be honest with you yeah. it, honestly i'm sure the guy but probably just doesn't even want to think about any of yeah, it yeah don't blame the guy yeah uh, i don't blame him either so uh or it's faking it yeah maybe you know, maybe that's i really it. hope I, you know what it. what it's rat it. you never know I want it to be. I really want it to be. Real? No, like fake. fake? Yeah, 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 so we are. But you know, you never know with some of these people. Like, I know. Like, like, like they're in the wall. I know. Anyway, anyway, uh, is there anything else we should talk about? Anything else we should bring up? Uh. Oh, I've got a Kickstarter book coming out oh, very yeah. soon. That's um, the thing. But I don't know when. So I do have the landing page <clears throat> set up, so like you follow it, so you can. However, um, the way it works. Don't know it, if it really applies to this. One. Well, well, it doesn't I, really. I know a lot of people uh, a lot from of our other channel. Of game over. There's a lot of like if you're into people talking about playing games, check it out. It's a paper, paper, book of paper minis. The first 100 copies are on the cheap end of the spectrum. Yeah. Like you know, we're pretty much like it's like the early bird spectrum. Yeah, we're giving them away just so like we can make sure we get like print essentially. Yeah, like you know, as long as you make enough money to get like enough printed that it's not a black hole of like money being burnt. Yeah, essentially, you know what I mean. Like that's that's the, that's the premise anyway. Um, so yeah, check that out. I'll give the link to it, but I'm gonna do like a full video actually explaining what it's all about um anything else no 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 yeah nothing, nothing no like absolutely it. not that's just the end of the video yeah check out gumroad, yeah, all, check that out gumroad. all that good stuff and we'll see you next time bye